what's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today I have a brand new film coming out of Terror Films on October 1st. This is Like Dogs. Like Dogs is essentially about a couple of people who are kidnapped and treated, as the title suggests, like dogs. Kept in kennels, given choke collars, given dog food, which may or may not contain hallucinogens to keep them compliant, all due to some behavioral examination where the people behind the scenes have malicious intent. So what we have here is a very interesting psychological thriller that I'm sure wants to make you think a little bit, you know, what would happen exactly if we treated people like animals, like dogs? The more of these people are kept in their kennels, the more they both want to escape, but also act increasingly compliant. Is that the drugs talking or are they really being trained? I, I really do think that this movie is interesting at its core, but it does have a few flaws that I feel like need to be discussed. First of all, this film is of an indie variety. I, I review these types of movies all the time, so that's to be expected. But obviously, the limited budget didn't always allow the film to reach all those goals that I'm sure that it had for itself. But it didn't do too bad. The production or set design helped make the setting of the film feel isolated. You know, the kennels felt like real human kennels or prison cells. So that was pretty cool. And the performances were all fairly decent. I was honestly more impressed with the film than I thought I really would be, but I did have a slight issue with the narrative of the film, which tried to throw twists and turns in your face, and I didn't particularly like the twists. I won't spoil you on what they were, of course, but they kind of changed the atmosphere of the film. And honestly, there's these slight variations in tone here that I don't think worked all the time, and it's those twists that bothered me. The best way that I can try to explain it is to say we know that this is a behavioral test on a couple of unwilling subjects. That's fine. But that kind of sort of changes, and I wish it didn't. I think a movie that solely just did the psychological test thing would have been perfect as a less is more thing. I personally love psychological test films because at the end of the day, they'll be the ones that make you think more. When you start getting a little bit over ambitious by introducing twists and turns, sometimes that psychological aspect gets tossed out the window, and I think that's kind of what happened here. It's nowhere near a bad movie though, not at all, don't get me wrong. I love the concept here, and I thought a lot of the aspects of the film make me want to go back and watch it all over again. In fact, another film that just came out recently, I felt very similar towards in almost every single way, and that was Apartment 413 which was also an indie film that kind of made you think and also had its own set of twists and turns going on. But with that being said, let's go ahead and break down my final score for a second, starting with my unbiased score. Basically, there's definitely things going on behind the scenes that I appreciated and thought were very well done, and other areas that I could tell were more amateur than they probably would have liked. So this score isn't incredible, but, you know, it's still better than nothing at 68%. My bias score is higher still because I certainly enjoyed the movie overall. It was interesting, it made me think, and never once was I disengaged with the storytelling. But it's also an imperfect film, and I make no misunderstanding with that. This score is 74%, and when we combine those two scores, we come to the final rating of 71%. 71 out of 100 possible stars, or a B minus letter grade. Guys. If you happen to have watched Like Dogs, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Did it make you think? What would you do if you were forced to act like a dog? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below and as for YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace out. Dave examines movies. We just watch for fun. Davey is the expert. He is the number.